Prepping a dry skin can be someone say is easy, but knowing the proportionate amount of product to apply to such face is the key behind this prepping. And that is why I'm going to be sharing with you on proportions to use and how to prep a dry skin even though it does not really need so much product because their face naturally holds in the makeup but it still needs to be prepped so the first thing that i'm doing here is that i am cleaning her face even though she has taken her bath because this is a client she has taken her bath and she's here for her makeup i you still have to clean you have to clean clean properly because it's a canvas you can't work on a on a um face that has dirt you might not see the dirt physically but trust me once you use the micellar water which i'm using now i use the blossom makeup micellar water you can use any other micellar water that works for you but once you use micellar water you will see the dirt on the um wipes or whatever cutting part you are using to clean then i went in with this um green tea um spray it is a rejuvenating spray it helps to rejuvenate the face and repair any form of dryness whatsoever that is found on the face then i went in with the moisturizer this is where it comes in you have to apply enough moisturizer now i didn't say a lot i said enough why because when you see someone's face when you see your client's face you will know whether this client is having a dry skin or a um combination skin or an oily skin and you'll be able to know whether or not you are to use a certain amount of products or not do you understand and note that it is not all products that works with diff with the same face if i can put it like that there are some products that do not work well there are some prepping that do not work well so you really have to um practice and know what work works for you and what works on client faces without having any form of issue so i went in with um this mismetic moisturizer which is very good i've been using them for a while now I use them a lot and it is very good. It is very good. It helps to moisturize the face. It has hyaluric hylo acid, which helps to lock in moisture. Do you understand? So you have to moisturize the um, face properly and ensure that it sits into the skin and is well dried before you apply any other thing. This is me still going in with the remaining moisturizer that i have at the palm of my hands and i just keep pressing in pressing in until it is fully dry fully dry fully dry into the skin then i went ahead and sprayed again this is the reason for the moisture i sprayed her face again then i went in with zaron um, primer this primer is not a mattifying primer because i cannot use a mattifying primer on a dry skin <laughs> that is going to make the uh, makeup crack or even better still break at one point or the other so i used the normal primer and i just applied it to the t-zones -zones of her face do you understand so that is what i did because i do not need too much primer to be sincere her skin is dry and it's very good it's we hold makeup properly so that is what I did, guys, and I hope you learned from this video. It is not all skin that you have to pack so much product. Little goes a long way for some skin, and some skin you have to really prep their face properly. So know the skin type you are working with and do what you are supposed to do accordingly. Thank you for watching.